Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offerman here of LED Video Wall Manuals, and today we're going to talk about setting up your video wall using the Nova LCT software. Now, unlike the iOS app that I covered in the earlier video, this has a lot more options. Now, with some of the controllers, you connect to this via USB port. But the beauty about the Taurus, the TB6 unit from Novastar, is that you don't need to go via USB. You can connect just using a wireless connection or Ethernet connection. There is no USB whatsoever. So in this case, I've basically connected completely wirelessly. I have my Windows computer logged in directly to the Wi-Fi hotspot that the TB6 creates. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch the LCT software. Once you launch the software, do not click on here where it says click here for configuration. Don't put a password there. Instead, you're going to click on user, then media player login, choose your Taurus, connect to it, enter in the username and password that is provided to you by the TB6. Then click on screen configuration and you have one screen that you can choose from. So just click next, give it a second and we're going to and we are now logged in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just skip past this receiving card info. This is basically the information on each individual card together. Uh, we're going to click on the screen connection and we need to reset the rows and columns. This is my previous job. So I'm going to click on reset all. So the first thing I need to do is just check on the left hand side, make sure that I'm on the right Ethernet port and that it's 120 by 128 pixels. And now I'm gonna select this to be four by three, which is my current screen size. And then I just start clicking and click one after the other. Now, if you mess up like I just did here, you can do the undo button right there. And I'm just gonna click them in the order that I wired them in. Whoops, messed up and now I can undo that. One button undoes, one button resets it. And there it is there. Now you can see there's also the quick connection where you can just click one and then literally like drag like almost like a paintbrush and have it all automatically configured. But if you need something that simple, you may as well just use the phone app. Once everything's configured the way I want it to be, I'm just going to click send to hardware. Your screen should automatically work. Now, center hardware doesn't save it. As soon as you reset the hardware, everything will disappear. So once everything looks the way that it should and all your screens look good, you want to make sure that you save. And once you save it, all the information is saved directly on each card. As a matter of fact, if you reset it, check it out, I'm going to reset it here. And then I'm going to pull all the information from the hardware. You'll see that all the configuration that's saved from the unit as a whole is saved in there and that's it we set up a simple screen in exactly three minutes now it's really important to note the words simple screen there are advanced screen options and there's a whole bunch of this software can do and this video series will walk you through every little individual feature or at least as much as i can give you please make sure to like subscribe share this with your friends and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below have a great evening and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.